Mike Zemer. I do South by So What. I run Third String Productions. I have a record label called Third String Records and Evolve Management. I think Launch is great because it gives artists the ability to understand that they don't just need to be a performer. They need to learn the business side of things and they need to learn other traits within the business. I think anyone in the music industry would agree like you end up doing a lot more than what you set out to originally do when it comes to just one aspect of the industry. What I like about some of the smaller conferences is that they're more intimate and everyone's more accessible. That launch is all about education for the artists to further their career as young entrepreneurs. You get to check out so many different titles of music that maybe you would never have checked out before. So educating yourselves on what's working, what, what has worked, what doesn't work, but also networking, not just with the industry, but also with other bands. But having something unique like this in the city of Lancaster where art and music is so prevalent, it's, it's really what the heart of Lancaster honestly is in my opinion. One of the things that's great about this conference is there's a very small amount of music industry executives that are here and a lot of us are speaking on multiple panels. So the audience is the same that we keep seeing over and over again. So by the end of a weekend, you've built a relationship with people. I mean, there are people with the tools to help jumpstart, you know, that type of career. Yeah, I'd say coming to conferences is the best way to learn. Uh, you know, as industry, we still learn every day and we still have to continue to like hone in on our craft and continue learning through the process. I used to be so confused on how, how to network and what networking was. And, you know, we were just talking about it in the panel earlier. You know, networking is, is just, you know, talking and, and being human, right? It's, it's interacting with other humans. And I think that that's something that, uh, that conferences or these types of situations really teach you. It's, it's getting out there and, and meeting people with, uh, you know, like-minded goals in order to further yourself. I kind of look at it as we have a classroom. And that classroom touches half a million kids every summer. And if we can take, as any school, 10% are going to overachieve. 90% are going to come and run around in the sun and have a good time, and that's really what, that's what we're doing. But 10% are going to get involved, look at that stage and go, I can be in that band. I can start a clothing brand. Um, I can join that nonprofit. I can, I can do a change in my community and maybe stay here and take little bits and pieces of that because we try to make it accessible. How have you seen the music industry grow and change throughout Lancaster in your, all of your time being here? Oh, it's incredible. I mean, I think Lancaster's going through like a renaissance right now. Um, there's so many bands that are actually breaking out of just being a local band and touring, you know, nationally and internationally. There's people all over the place. There's music all over the place. It's like, it's like a musician's heaven. People networking, people trying to make connections that are conducive to building their careers, whether they're musicians or not. And, and I think I'm, I'm very proud of that. If you're in a band, I think it would be worth stopping here if you're, if you're trying to put, put a tour together just because there are a lot of open-minded people who are willing to go see new music. There's a lot of excellent musicians and excellent bands who, comes, who come out of Lancaster almost yearly. It's, it's constantly pushing out great artists. I think that Launch is doing a really good job of providing that opportunity, not only for professionals like myself, but for you know, the young artists and the young people trying to get into the business.